Hey everybody, it's your boy Blazin and we're back at it with episode 9. Today we're going to be looking at uh, a new sector planning on going through. Getting off the stage here real quick, but uh, yeah, we're going to be going in from a different entrance. The Devotion Garden. In hopes of completing uh, more quests. I, I think today we're going to try and get uh, to the procedural factory here with uh, Zed. Been enjoying Zed a lot. Now we can bring three heroes. So I want to bring Sweeper just because I really enjoy this character, just in general. And I was thinking we should have someone to defend the uh, the crystal, the crystal bot, right? So I'm thinking this is going to be our team right here. What do you mean disabled? Activate. Yes. Yeah, I remember from our co-op playthrough that uh, Cardi has uh, good passives for the turrets, giving it uh, an actual ability and whatnot to fire. So this is going to be interesting. Two vantage points, one for moving forward, one for defending a hallway, and then Cardi for defending the actual crystal bot. Might be a little bit easier. But I mean, right in we go. Let's see uh, how far we can get, you know? Whoa! That looks so cool! Wow! Okay. The aim on this feels so awkward. Alright, well... <laughs> Starting off a new run, first door. Cool. Starting the industry. Speed, attack damage, knockback. I see they normalized the text. It's actually uh, so much easier to read. That's cool. I like that. So, yeah. So one, two, and three cycles. I like that. Kind of a shame there's like, mm. So I want you by the crystal bot. I want you over here. Kinda wish I could just assign them to move on their own, but this is fine too. A little bit more tedious. Okay. We still have absurd damage on the first floor. Jellifier is pretty good. I remember it. I don't know about the rest here. Breach. Breach. We're gonna have a wave spot here in a moment. Promise. Uh... I don't know how I feel about either of those. I don't really like the campfire. Not my kind of weapon. With how I have this lined up and how early we are, they should be fine for defending. I don't think they can spawn anywhere else in this room. Okay, they have spawn damage, I suppose. That's fine. Early wave should be pretty easy. I think in future videos I'm gonna skip the first floor and update you guys on what happens on the first floor. Like, if anything interesting happens during the floor, I'll cut to it, but aside from that, we've already seen the first floor on the other uh, map so many times. And it's like... You know? I was just thinking about that for a bit. It doesn't seem like a bad call. 
and accuracy feels so weird because of parallax. <laughs> this guy. Uh, yeah. I do so much damage. I love it. So that's the med bay. Zed's here. Yeah, she is. Zed's here. Nothing you do can convince me to take the campfire. I just do not like that weapon. Like, I'll grab it, but I'm not using this. I just simply put, I'm not using that. Zed's here. For anyone who wants to read this. Yada, yada. There you go. I sure like to chat about this. Not gonna open this door. Zed's here. It would make it a lot harder. Ooh, see now we're talking. Hope it's ordinance. Should be able to get to that room and defend it again. And since these are bugs and not uh, the other uh, bots, I don't want to use lightning on it. Special wave incoming? Bug bait? Eliminate five royal shyness monsters from the bug monster family. Okay. How long's this wave? I didn't give Sweeper dude any turrets, so he's just on his own up there. Seems like he's doing well with his upgraded handgun. Okay, so it is just a normal wave. That's fine with me. What's happening by Sweeper Dude? He's just defending this like fun, I guess. I don't care about any of these for him. Oh, I can upgrade from here. That's crazy. Nice. Giving her just raw wit would be great. She's going to be solo for a while. This is just bad for her. I don't like any other ones for him. I didn't know that. I had no idea about that. Maybe you can select which characters get weapons, too. Is this already missing health? No. I'll just place two of these. And I'll continue on. Yeah, I'm not opening this because right now we have a perfect funnel that leads everything to this room. Makes it so much easier to defend and allows me to spend less resources. The more we can stock up, the better if I've learned anything about this game's early game. So far, a pretty nice first floor. The layout is straightforward. Like, not many deviations, which is very nice. So this is the wave room... How far to a wave? Not too far. I can just do this. I'm opening this solely because it's a room that I can open. <laughs> I think I'm going to talk more about my thought process and decisions during the run to give you guys an idea of why I do quite a few things. We should be able to just walk the bot, if I'm being honest. Look lively. Moving out. Follow my lead, Krabby. Zed's here. 
What I'm doing right now is extremely risky. I don't recommend. But it's first floor. I'm greeting. We have a third hero now, too, on top of it, so it's like... Okay. I want more resources. Greed! I think that's every door? 146 already, not bad. Yeah, we have so much power on first floor, this is just worth doing. I don't think monsters drop more resources after a certain point, so this is just value. And since the bot follows almost as slowly as I move while shooting, it's just good. No damage on the bot. Every door opens. Multiple generators of... Oh, nice! Just nice. Yeah, first floor is always a staple. I think I'll only show this floor, depending on how many times we run the first floor here. Uh, one or two more times as well. Just to keep content refreshing, you know? Heads up. Starting a new zone, kids. Yeah, so this entire first zone is going to close off, but that's all right. What are you going to do? I hate that all the heroes just teleport back. Like, before the door closes. It's not a big deal, but it's a little annoying. But there we go. First half of the first floor. Not bad. Uh, before I even move on. This box, holy. That was scary. I forgot that when there's two rooms, something always spawns. <laughs> Interesting. That can be good. To be honest, hit me with the refresh on Zed. Let's just go with some solid movement speed. This is gonna be our main walking hero anyways. Caddy needs to stay here and defend. Holy, it's inaccurate. This, and I want him here. Still getting used to swapping between. Yeah, I want you right here. <laughs> two straight shooters and you go here. I think it was two for Zeth. It is. Just gonna start exploring in another direction. Alright, at least there's no monsters. What do we got? Fire Lance. Uh huh. Fire rate is down. Damage is up, though. Oh, it's a charged weapon. I mean, I know it's good for this floor, though. Is the thing. Oh, that's cool, though. And the charge is faster. Yeah, it's like bugs are weak to fire. Just in general. As long as it's accurate, I don't mind. I'm considering opening more doors. I don't want to wait this out. 
Like, he's gonna defend it. Fine. That door is locked. Fine. Whatever. Oh. The lightning weapon would be better here. That's kind of annoying to know. Wow, Elastic Hero just literally glides. Research. Boosh. <laughs> so Tesla Ball would be good for that new area we just got. Flamethrower would be good for most of the areas. Okay. I feel like we're going to want Flamethrower more. Because these aren't blobs, right? These are bugs. Yeah, weakness fire. So Flamethrower is going to have a lot of value. Riffin on a game here. Fire rate on this isn't great, but the damage is high, so... Fire rate's just too poor to use, honestly. As long as uh, he's safe over there, which I'm looking at his HP, he's fine. Should be okay. I don't like the sound of that. Okay, it's fine. So that's that research done. Smokehouse, Sapper. I love Sapper so much. It's so good. I'm going for that as well. Yeah, so the sapper is going to reduce the defense of enemies in the room, and defense is what makes it so I fall off later. Just this high damage now, you won't see that later. It'll be a lot lower. Anything else? Diagnosticator. I've never taken this, but I think I might. I've never taken it, so I'll try it. Research as much as I can while it's easy. We found it nice and early here. So long as he's safe over there, we're fine. And I'm looking at his HP, it ain't moving. These sounds are terrifying. <laughs> what else you got? I don't like any of these, so those will probably be rerolled on next That's floor and whatnot. Here. It works. Promise. Kind of want to grab this, but I also don't want to spend the resources on a weapon when I can get them naturally. Enemies did spawn. Okay, so this is the med bay. Enemies will funnel through here, 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 into here, so I want to defend this point as best I can Wait. currently. Okay. I don't like that. Unless this is where we're going, I do not like that. We're not in danger of a wave just yet, so I'll keep exploring. I'm glad they're not making us use our dust yet. Nice and dark, just how I like it. We're not in danger just yet. Ooh. I actually really like this drill spot. This is scary, though. I don't know if I can defend this. 
Oh, but. Ooh. All I have to do is defend this. That's defended. Crystal bot's not getting ran at. I just have to defend this room. resources we can get out of here with the better i'm just worried because i didn't uh place anything with uh sweeper in the uh top so i'd say there's a decent chance something gets to him that he can't handle more rooms we open the harder they should get theoretically and this is a natural spawning wave but we'll see What hit me? I was pretty sure I killed it at first. <laughs> okay? Yell if you're dead. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's nice to have single funnel rooms. We know we're moving this way no matter what, so opening another door here could just be disastrous if it spawns more monsters, but since we're safe for the moment, I'm going to. Breach. I don't think the doors are going to close off after this. This makes things so much easier. I'm not even going to let you. There's no spawner here, so I don't have to worry about anything coming from there, which is good. Okay. Swap to sweeper, dude. Cool. Check on upgrades for Zed. Can't afford any of them. Swap to Zed. How am I going to do this? I think I'm going to open this door. And I'm just going to walk it casually. Zed's here. Think that's the plan right now? Walk it here first. I don't know how I'll defend this, though. Or this. We worry about that later. Flamethrower exploded. Ah, oh, shame. Almost got it damageless. It's literally a sliver. Maybe it just hit me and not the bot. Can only hope, but it looks like it took a, like, fraction of its HP. And we're just gonna have to deal with that. I was right, though. Neither of the generators got destroyed. They weren't even targeted. So now we can open these doors. I want you to stay here. Hold up. Dig in and Cardi. Wait. Yeah, having Cardi with the uh, crystal bot is always going to be the valuable play. This is going to be the way out. Ah, uh, of course. Well, opening more doors is just getting more value. I don't know how hard the second floor is. I do know on the... Uh, other layouts, the second floor boss was brutal, so I'm just getting ready while I can. All that for this meta progress chest, the mob zapper. It's good DPS. 
It is. That's all I'm going to say about it. I like to be able to hit my target. Thank you. All right, well, if we're moving out, like, this is the end of the floor. Might as well just... Hey, Krabby. Right over there. More resources we can save, the better. We think we've already taken damage, so no reason to... Pull punches and build things. We don't need to. Man, we're strong. I think meta progression makes the first floor a joke for us, and we should just abuse that. I'm glad we don't have to funnel through this big room with spawners on every end, though. Like, I'm so happy about that. <laughs> We've opened every door, right? Yeah, generator's got full value. All right. So strong, I'm just gonna stand here, shoot to where they are on the minimap, and sip some water. Hydration. I always forget how long hacking takes with the crystal bot. What was that? I walked away. A lot of them didn't. Hey, you said it, Zed. You said it. <laughs> new floor, new experiences. Straight exhilarating. We have to go down in this? Looks like it never ends. Now we have a crystal bot upgrade too. Yeah, no crystal damage bonus. Didn't get it. Is what it is. Wow, survived another one. Time for a deep breath. Yeah, I get it. Time's up. Let's go. Not much to choose from. Oh. We could go to Labor Colony. Or the factory. And since we got the meta progression for more information on uh, monsters, we can tell what's there now. So we were facing blobs and bugs before, and now it's going to be blobs and bots. Okay. I wish I took the lightning weapon. Fire will be useless here. Ooh. Look at those quests, though. Probably should have taken other dude for his quest, but is what it is. We'll be finishing Zed's quest first. Hindsight. 2020, as they say. Okay. Take it slow. Here we go. This looks so cool! You're gonna hear me say that a lot. It's not adding much, but it is what it is. That's gonna do it for episode 9, honestly. Here we go again. I say honestly a lot, I'm realizing. But I'm loving this game, and I'm loving posting it on YouTube for you guys. If you made it this far, welcome to the Fire Nation, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.